Hello guys, today we will create this amazing diptych painting inspired by American artist Judith Scott. This month we will be celebrating and learning about different artists with disabilities. Judith is an artist who has Down syndrome. Even though she was born with this disability, she is still just like us and it did not stop her from becoming an international fiber sculptor. She teaches us that people with disabilities should be treated equally and that we should always be respectful of others. Be sure to check out our Bemoji Museum to learn more about different artists with disabilities during this month as well as our safe place which we will be learning about different types of disabilities and you can watch the videos in the safe place so let's get started for today and remember for this week you are going to need some water you're also going to need watercolors if you do not have watercolors make sure that you have some later on on the next video because you are going to need this your watercolors don't have to look like mine. You can always have just the ones that have eight. And you can find them at stores such as the Dollar Store, Walmart, or any other store that has uh, supplies like art supplies. So make sure you have them for our next video. We're also going to need some crayons and a pencil for today. So let's get started. You want to get a blank piece of paper just like this one so that you have two parts on there and you are going to be drawing shapes today. Since Judith was a sculptor, we are not able to use fiber and sculpture for our class because of the coronavirus, but we are able to draw. So we are going to pretend we are drawing kind of like a sculpture made out of a lot of yarn and different wires and things like that. That's why you're going to see a lot of organic lines, lines that you find in nature. So here we go. Let's make our shapes, our organic shape. It doesn't have to look like anything. You can make it however you want. I will make one here. And I will make one on the other side. And like I said, you can make the shapes however you want to. Now, inside of this organic shape, I am going to make some wavy lines everywhere. Make sure that whenever you're making your wavy lines, you leave enough space so that you can paint. If your lines are too small, your painting spot's going to be too small for you to paint. So make sure you make them large. I just did mine like this, but you can do them however you want to, and I will make some on this side as well. And I am done with that side. Now, I am going to go back and make sure that my lines are pretty big so that I can paint inside. I see that this one's a little bit small, but I think I can handle it. Now, I will go ahead and get my eraser and I am going to very carefully erase those lines but just enough that I can still see them and I'm also going to do that on this side and I kind of want to have another line right here so I will make a bigger one if you need to make some changes before you keep going make sure you make your changes to your drawing before we continue and that you like it the way that you are making it Now I will go ahead and start erasing the lines. Once you're done, your paper should look something like this. You can still see the lines, but now they are not as dark. Now, since you can still see the lines, go ahead and find a white crayon and you're actually going to trace those lines that you just erased with this white crayon. Go ahead and do that on both sides and then you're going to be done after that. So let's get started. 
Now, if you notice how I am pressing, make sure that you're pressing pretty hard because we want to be able to see all those lines appearing with the white. So make sure that you are pressing hard onto your paper. Make sure that what you do on one side, you do on the other side. So over here, we're also going to press hard with our crayon. Now you should be done. Now you have your paper covered with your crayon. Make sure that you come next week prepared and that you bring your watercolors so that way we can start on our painting. So I'll see you next time. See you soon.